This is a, a, a quick guide video to adding fillets on a hub and shroud uh, for a, um, a blade design. So I'm just going to start with a generic blade shape in blade gen. I'll open this up. Um, all I did to create this blade was um, yeah, I used the default, so I'd file new and just went through with the defaults. Um, the only thing I needed to make sure in this blade was the um, leading edge and trailing edge. Um, are set to be rounded so uh, sorry under this ellipse here so they're both rounded um, for, for the fillet so the fillet can wrap around um, cutoffs don't seem to work as well and uh, I just made sure that um, the uh, for the properties I think it's the units um, okay. under the um, model properties um, I've got the units set and um, also the number of blades. I don't think that gets set when we create the create the, the model. Um, but assuming that you have a, a, a design that you've made rather than me just using the defaults, um, they would all be set. And then we just want to export this straight to TurboGrid. Um, the feature, the rolling ball feature, um, can't be used with TurboGrid coming out of um, Workbench. So uh, Blade Gen itself has to be launched from Workbench, but the a uh, feature we need in TurboGrid is not available in Workbench, so we actually go ahead and file um, and export the uh, TurboGrid input files, and we can save these files off, and then we can open up TurboGrid in standalone mode. So TurboGrid itself is launched from the uh, CFX launcher, um, so this is where we normally launch the um, CFX um, modules, um, but to, to get it standalone, we need the, the CFX launcher open, and we can open up TurboGrid. So we have TurboGrid open, and under the geometry, um, we have our, these, these are the curve files that were created by um, Blade Gen and that we output. Um, because I open up TurboGrid in the directory, it detects them automatically. And the key input or the key change we need to make here is the input mode. Um, typically, we'd use profile points and this would come in, but because we want to add that fillet to the hub and shroud or and or shroud, um, we need to use the profile points. Uh, oh, sorry, CAD from profile points. This is the feature that's not available in TurboGrid when it's launched from Workbench, and this is why we need to, to do it in standalone mode. So we simply select that. Uh, the number of blades that didn't come up long and I think the units is um, not, not quite the correct units there. Um, but if we then click Apply and Generate CAD, um, this should come across in the Mesh tab. The other thing I should point out here on the import is it does ask us for a file name. So when it reads the profile points in, um, TurboGrid actually creates a background parasolid file, and it just asks us for a path to apply that in. Um, but those curve files have been read in, and now we can take a look at them here and to add the fillets we simply go across to the blade here and we do a right mouse button insert blade cad feature and we can do a, a blade blend here this is the the feature that's now available um, because we use this cad from profile points in the geometry tab um, so we can add both hub, hub and shroud blend here I'll just make it, uh, I'll make it kind of small. Let's make it uh, half a centimeter and we'll do both. And apply. Um, and now that's been done, if we take a zoom in here on the geometry, you can see that fillet has been added um, around there. So I kind of kept it small just for the demonstration, but uh, typically that would be a little bit bigger. Um, and then we just go to the topology set and uh, we can go ahead and create the mesh and you'll see that it uh, blends in with that fillet. So now we have a mesh created and we can just go ahead and um, take a look at that. And you can see it uh, obeys the fillet there. And the same on the other side. 
So that's applying the rolling wall fillet. Um, it wraps around the entire blade. That's why I was saying that um, uh, cutoffs don't sort of work so well because typically if you do have a cutoff, especially at the trading edge, um, you typically wouldn't have the fillet wrapping around. It would just be a straight cutoff hub shroud. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the, this rolling ball does go all the way around. So typically it works better with elliptical leading edges and trailing edges. But that's how we apply the fillet in TurboGrid with the um, import, uh, with the CAD generated from import curves from BladeGen.